Hi, I'm Alex. Over the years I've taken part in a number of endurance events and I took up triathlon about two years ago. I did a sprint and then Olympic and I did a half Ironman and I did my first Ironman this year. At the moment I'm training using the Polar RCX5 and I'm here today to show you how it works. Right, now I'm on polarpersonaltrainer.com web service. There are loads of great features on here. I can plan my training and browse through my training history. I'm going to return here after my session to upload my training data and follow my progress, but I'll talk more about that later. Okay, here's the clever bit about the RCX5. During the beginning of my training session, the zone optimizer evaluates the state of my body and adjusts my heart rate zones accordingly. It looks like I'm in a good condition today, so it's setting my zones higher. Now I can be sure I'm training at the right intensity for this session. The RCX5 monitors my heart rate for my entire training session, even when I'm swimming. All I have to do is tell the unit what sport I'm about to do. Right now I'm letting it know I'm about to go for a swim. It automatically picks up my swim settings I set up earlier. So I'm ready, here goes. Once I'm warm, I'm ready to increase my intensity. Usually during swimming, my heart rate stays in zone three, which improves aerobic fitness. This small GPS sensor records my route, which I can review later online. Now all I'm doing is changing the sport on my RCX5 after my swim. Another great feature of this product is you can switch from one sport to another really easily. That's an important feature for my triathlon training. I've got speed and cadence sensors on my bike. I use these to get the most accurate information so I can improve my cycling technique. For this session, I'll keep an eye on my speed and heart rate. As I'm improving, I can maintain a higher speed while keeping my heart rate lower. It's easy to follow my training data on the big screen. Plus, it's really clear on the flat display, even if it's sunny. So everything I need is at hand and working to keep me on track. Improving your triathlon performance is all about making lots of little improvements. I use this small stride sensor to help me improve my running technique. It's something I need to work on. So, as before, I'm just going to change my sport and the RCX5 automatically recognises my stride sensor. Right, now the RCX5 is displaying my running cadence, pace and heart rate. Having this information at hand is really useful because at the moment I'm trying to increase my cadence while maintaining the same heart rate so I can run faster for longer. Now that I've done all the hard work, all I have to do is upload my training data onto polarpersonaltrainer.com. I can analyse my multi-sport training session and follow my training load and recovery status to adjust my training. As you can see, my training session was pretty hard today, so I'm going to take my rest day tomorrow. Well, there we go. You've seen how I'm getting on with my training using the RCX5. You've seen how easy it is and how I can get the most out of every single training session that I do. Thanks for watching.